Sergeant Reds Gaming and Vintage Toys. Hey guys, John here with Sergeant Reds. Thanks for joining me. I'm sitting in a drive thru. Where do you get a delicious cup of coffee? I should have went in because I'm sitting here and it's just not moving. But anyways, I am driving out to check out a collection of Depression Era tin toys. Cars, um, tank, airplanes, uh, you know, you name it. I'm going to go see what we got here. So basically, a gentleman reached out to me and said he was cleaning out his father-in-law's house and found all his old toys, which were these tin toys. He said they were well-loved, um, they're in bad shape, um, and he just wanted to know, hey, is there any value to these? Are you interested or should I just scrap them? Um, so I was like, well, you know, be being the toy lover that I am, let me pull up to the drive through one step closer to my caffeine. Um, where was I? See, I got distracted. I get distracted easily. Anyways, I was telling him, no, don't scrap them, you know, send me some pictures, uh, which he did, and yeah, they're well loved, definitely, but they can be used, okay? So if you have a restoration project that you're working on a similar car and you need to have a tire for it or a piece for it, um, these are usable for that. So just from the ones I've seen, he said he has several boxes. I think he sent me about four or five pictures of individual uh, vehicles, which are the ones that were in good condition, and I'm using the term good loose, loosely. Um, but we're going to go check it out, see what he has, see if we can make a deal on this stuff, and then um, I'll, I'll show you guys what we find. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to get my delicious, delicious cup of coffee. I should have went in. Why didn't I go in? I'm stupid. Anyways, we'll catch you in a little bit. It might be dark by the time I get out of this line, so we'll see you. All right, we're coming in, and Bigfoot's here. Amazing. All right, guys, so we're here. There's a bunch of tin toys, and there's actually some other stuff that we looked at, but um, we had a couple of lunch boxes here. Um, there's a ton of these tin toys. A lot of them are in rough shape or missing parts, but they're really cool looking. Like they look futuristic, but they're like antique, which is crazy to me. And like you guys know, I normally do the stuff from the 80s. So now these are the gentleman's father-in-law, right? So these are his stuff. They're cleaning out the, uh, the attic in the basement and just trying to get some of this stuff out of here. Um, but it's pretty neat. So we got a bunch of old cars and trains and stuff now this one you said you might have the doors to this laying around yeah, somewhere so, okay so yeah if we find the doors you know you got the little girl here painted on the the window and on the other side you have dad who actually looks really young like that might be her brother <laughs> you got the big barbie bus right that's like a bus thing we have all kinds of just tin toys now i don't know what goes to what i'm not a big tin toy guy but i'm about to learn i have a feeling so we also have a bunch of Barbie stuff, and this was your wife's stuff, right? Yeah. It wasn't your stuff, right? No, not <laughs> Although I would drive this car. Right. That's, I, I would drive that vet down the road. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. So you got a bunch of Barbie stuff and those boxes, and we have a bunch of stuffed animals down here. So the original owner of these um, <laughs> had to go through them all and take out the ones that she was fond of as a, as a child, and we found a bunch of stuff that she made homemade. Um, down there and I kind of made fun of her upside down V which was supposed to be an A and I got yelled at but uh not really so we just have a bunch of like older stuffed animals and dolls and things of that nature um and creepy bear I'm going to kill you oh my god okay you guys keep him <laughs> so just a bunch of stuffed animals we got some old coloring books here most of this stuff's from the 70s probably I would guess and then I'm gonna have to show you guys this they will not let go of him it is Popeye the yeah, Sailor Man. Wind up thing. Popeye. He needs a little boost, but uh, yeah, yeah. He didn't Maybe. have his spinach today. Maybe he's not working. Oh well, he was working. There he goes. He's kicking his little feet. Nope. Oh well. Now you should get rid of him. He don't work. Oh wait, there he goes. There he goes. So that thing's got to be from what, the forties, you think? Thirties, I think. Thirties yeah. or forties. Yeah. So check this thing out, guys. He's not for sale, unfortunately, but um. He is really cool, and I'll share him with you. But it's the Popeye Express. He's got his pipe and everything. It's really neat. I didn't have time yesterday to go through all this stuff. I was losing daylight, so let's go through it now. This is the, uh, the vintage tin toy collection we have here. Um, I apologize if it's a little loud. I'm in the parking lot of the shop, and uh, there's a lot of traffic. But let's go through this stuff and take a look at it. I didn't get a chance to go through all the boxes that he had. He just had a couple of the key pieces out of the bigger pieces that were in, in nicer shape. Uh, but then there was also a ton of Barbies and things of that nature that I guess were his wife's that were also cleared out of uh, the father-in-law's attic. So we have a little mix of everything from the 70s and the 30s. So let's check like this out. There's a bunch of stuff here from the 30s um, and a bunch of stuff here from the 70s, all the Barbie stuff. So this box here is a bunch of old tin toys. And then we have some of these, which I don't know if these are like primitives, or, like these are handmade from the from the 30s or what, but they're, they're pretty cool. There's two of them here. Um, I'm guessing that these are like primitive handmade uh, toys from the Depression era, but they're pretty cool. Um, looks like they're made out of some lumber, a little bit of paint. 
So I'm not sure. I don't think that's an actual brand. I don't see any any brand names or anything on it. But I don't know if I'm not I'm not an expert on stuff out of the, that era. So bear with me if I sound like an idiot. It's probably because uh, well on this stuff I kind of am. So there's two of these, and again I think these are just like handmade. You know, a lot of these are well loved, um, and as they were described to me by the owner. Um, a lot of these are missing pieces and wheels and things of that nature are beat up, but uh, again, I guess these things were just played with. So they are from the 30s. Um, I believe they're all from the 30s. Again, I'm not an expert on vintage tin toys. or I guess these are more antique than vintage. Um, but they're, they're really cool. I like the style of them. I like the design. Even though they are missing the wheels, they are still, they're still neat conversation pieces. Um, and again, I'm not super familiar. So if there's people out there and you guys are... Uh, there's a piece of an old pistol. Experts on this stuff, feel free to reach out because this stuff is out of my uh, my wheelhouse here. Most of these aren't even marked. They're just old. Uh, I mean, I don't know if they were marked at some point, but he was not lying when he said they were well-loved. That is for sure. Now, this one looks like it says Lumber Lines. It's pretty cool. I, I like how they're kind of they're retro um, and they're, they're antique, but they kind of have a futuristic look to them, a lot of them do. This stuff reminds me of like something out of Dick Tracy, you know, that kind of style of vehicle. No wheels on that guy. There's an old Greyhound bus, that's cool. No wheels, but um, this one is made by... I can't make that out. Something made in the United States. But again, I think a lot of these are going to be just... Um, for parts, uh, for people who want to restore them, or have ones that they need pieces for and need to restore. But if you think about it, that the fact that these things have been sitting around since the 30s, um, it's crazy to think about just how old these things are. I mean, shoot, they're 90 years old, I guess, right? And I'm just going to kind of show you these. Uh, Tootsie Toys, I'm familiar with that brand. Here's another piece of that uh, revolver. Looks like that guy's seen better days. Now, some of this stuff, I don't know if there's any use for this. I'm not going to throw it away. I'll see if there's people that are interested in doing something with them. But um, I know there's a lot of guys that do customs, so I don't know if they do customs with stuff that's this old. But I guess we'll find out. Um, that's a piece of wood. That goes to something, clearly. I mean, this thing it looks like it was shot down in World War II. <laughs> so, let's see what else we got here. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is kind of in a rough shape, so I'm just going to go through it kind of quick. And I'll point out any interesting pieces I find. we got a bunch of this stuff. And you got to remember, guys, this stuff is like 90 years old. So, it has seen better days. A little wheelbarrow there. I don't know what that went to. Oh, that'd, that'd be a cool little Texaco uh, train if it wasn't smashed like that. A little fire truck. Looks like a Pennsylvania like Keystone symbol. Uh, made in the USA. Not sure the brand on that. So if you guys know any of these brands, let me know. Because, again, this is all new to me. So Sinclair, that's like a gas or oil company, I believe. I think they're the ones that used to have the dinosaur logo. Uh, that's a Tootsie Toy. That's cool. Like an old uh, sedan. Like I said, there's a ton of these. But they are not in good shape. That's a little heavier. That's like, almost like a cast iron. Yeah, it looks like it's cast. Cast aluminum. I'm not sure what it is. It's some kind of cast metal. Yeah, some of those things are torn up. Man, these got some love back in the, back in the day. Look at that thing. I don't think they ever made a car that actually looked like that, did they? I think it's pretty cool. I'd like to see what someone could do with this stuff as far as um, either restoration or use them for custom pieces. It'd be really cool to see. So if you guys do that stuff, let me know. This is just neat looking. They have that like classic but futuristic feel is the best way I know how to describe it. I'm sure there's an actual term for it, but... I'm assuming they make some like reproduction wheels for these things. This one is um, arcade. Never heard of it. That one's like some kind of horse hauler. There's another little uh, vintage, I'm assuming handmade tank. He's missing his wheels, but it's kind of like folk artsy. 
That's like a horse trailer or something. Some kind of animal trailer. Oh, I think I had the arms to that. That's the uh, steam shovel. I had the arms for it earlier. Look at this thing. Wheels all messed up. It's just interesting the way they made these things, you know? It's solid. I'd say they don't break, but clearly they do. There's one little fire fire truck there. There's a Greyhound, another one. That one's kind of smushed, but looks like it could probably be bent back. What is that? Like a marble or something, maybe? A chase car. I think that used to be a police car, maybe? Or a police motorcycle? He lost his head. And there's another uh, super shovel by Wyand Wyandotte. So the rest of this is just, uh, looks like a bunch of the same kind of stuff in here. Um, you know, just a, a classic looking retro car looking. I don't, even, I don't even know what to call these things, guys. That one's neat. Looks like a, some kind of ghost in a race car. That's neat. That is, is it Oobly? I can't make it out. So free air. I don't know what that goes to. It's from Mark, so I think there's a couple, like, uh, little play sets I found that probably goes with one of those. Alright, so we got a couple other ones I pulled out here. We got a bunch of Hefner trains, um, a couple other cars. This is really cool, I think. Uh, the colors on it. I can imagine it was very vibrant back in the day, but right now it is um, not so much. But it has all the wheels. Ugh. So, a bunch more of that kind of stuff. In addition to that, we have a ton of these old wood toys. I don't know if these are from the 30s or if these are um, like from his daughters from the 70s. These kind of look like ones I had when I was a kid. So I'm assuming these are probably from the 70s. But there might be a mix. I'm not sure. But there are a ton of these. That's plastic. There's a ton of blocks. I think that's all that's in here is blocks. I haven't looked through it all, obviously, but... milk jug or something that's exciting get you into wood blocks so we got the uh, giant barbie freaking camper van man this thing's huge this thing's almost as wide as my truck i'm assuming this is from the 70s it's a star traveler we got some decals on the inside and uh i don't know if these are supposed to open or not yeah it looks like it opens up a little stove so that's pretty cool. Again, I'm not really into Barbies. Like I said, this was a very outside of my comfort zone pick, but I can't only get stuff I enjoy or else I'd uh, go out of business really quick. So we have that from Barbie. And then we have this Barbie bin here. Now this I'd actually drive a bin. That's pretty cool, a little Corvette. Let's see if it's got a date on this thing. Um, Mattel 1975, so that's from 75. And it looks like just a bunch of other accessories, like uh, Barbie's horse flipper. I have no idea if that's actually its name. I don't think it is. I'm just making this up as I go. Um, Barbie's dog, Fido. And this is a bunch of Barbie furniture. It's like a futuristic grill. That's, that's Barbie's uh, from the future grill right there. That's interesting. Barbie's going uh, on a vacation to Rio. And she has her little uh, Vespa. All right, so we got a couple more Barbie trunks here, and I'm going to get back to the tin toys in a second, but this is just the order that the uh, stuff was loaded in, so we're going to mix back and forth here a little bit. And this one, I know one of them had a couple dolls, but most of this is just accessories, so I'm sure there's a way to look these up if it's anything like the G.I. Joes. So just some, uh, looks like a bunch of accessories in there. But it's in pretty good shape overall. I mean, it's cardboard, and it still exists, so that's pretty good. Let's try to close this without spilling everything. see what we got all right so a bunch more clothes again this is not super exciting to me but someone out there probably loves barbie or else she wouldn't be around still so i don't know jeez barbie cover yourself um i don't know if there's a way to tell the age i'm assuming these are probably from the 70s just because everything else in this box was um and the rest of these toys are i'm not gonna undress these in the parking lot to look at the uh look for dates on them so this is snazzy. Look at this guy. Hey guys, I got my awesome felt outfit with my star belt buckle. Groovy. 
That's cool. I don't know. I guess that's not Ken. I thought Ken. This is Ken, right? Ken's the blonde. They making out in here. Good. Jeez. Oh man, they've been in here making out for thirty years, and there's a baby in here. Oh man. Jeez. Come on, guys. This is a family-oriented channel. What's wrong with your neck, Ken? Good God, man. Let's see. Is there anything on this date-wise? Uh, 19, 1968. So I don't know if that's the date he was made or if that's the date this model was made. But, um, just judging by the clothes, these are clearly from the, the 70s era. All right, guys, you're going to have to fit back in there like you were. And then you got Barbie's little sister, Jill. I'm making names up here, clearly. So if you're into Barbie stuff, there's a bunch of Barbie stuff here old Barbie stuff, which I'm going to have to do a lot of research on. Alright, so I'm not going to even pull this out of the box, but this is a giant Barbie swimming pool. I'm assuming that most of the pieces are here, or there's pieces of other stuff in here as well, but I think it's massive. I'm just not going to, I'm not going to take the time to pull it out right now because it looks like it's getting ready to start raining and I'm standing at the bed of my truck, but there's a giant Barbie swimming pool, and it looks like a beauty salon in there or something. Alright, so here's another box, and it is... These little dolls, and it says on Honey Hill Bunch, so I'm assuming that's what these are. Not something I'm familiar with. Oh my. Hello, I want your soul. So not, not a line I'm familiar with, so. But it looks like that's pretty much all that's in there. Are those little figures. Uh, no kicking, biting, hitting, or no. Oh, okay. You got this old Disneyland. Um, what's this? Some kind of gift card or something? That looks old. I don't know when that's from. That's probably 70s. Whoops. And it's um, just some old postcards, I guess. I'm not sure what those are. It's some kind of felt paper. Is that Christopher Robbins or whatever from Winnie the Pooh? Not sure what those are, but they're going to go back in there. And back into this. Um, there's no dates on any of it, so I'm not sure when that is, but I'm assuming it's from the same era, uh, the 70s. With the rest of this stuff. Ooh, that poor girl. She got covered. <sighs> yeah, that piece of cloth just started decaying. So, looks like a bunch of Honey Bunch, Honey Hill Bunch. So, if you're familiar with that line, let me know because I'm not. Okay, so this is the two place sets I was talking about earlier. This is probably where that free air um, thing we found on the other box went to. It's like a firehouse. Yeah, it probably went right here next to the oil. My poor fella lost his head. That's probably Mark's, I would imagine. So here's some more tin stuff. Now these are weird. I, I'm assuming these were repainted. Um, they almost have like a rubber feel. Like they're, they're, they're kind of rubber. I'm not sure what brand they are. I can't really make out what that says inside of there. So if you guys know what brand those are, just by looking at them, let me know. Because I need to do some research on that. But it looks like it's been repainted. I'm assuming that's not the original paint color. That one's like an old... Uh, uh, made in the USA. Looks like Acme. I guess Acme is a real brand. I thought it was just from a Wile E. Coyote. It's pretty cool looking. These things are just... I, I don't know if these were just like they designed these to look like. This is what it's going to be like in the future. Um, that looks like it maybe is a zip car of some sort. Or has it got a key? You can see there's a gear inside of there. It's, it's got like almost the Red Wings uh, logo on it. Here's a couple more of those rubberish kind of vehicles. I guess Acme is the name of the company. That one looks like, oh, this one you can read. Um, yeah, the Sun Rubber Company. So I guess those are made by the Sun Rubber Company. Now I'm wondering if they were made and they were like made to be painted or if they were actually painted at one time and the paint just wore off and the kids repainted it. I'm gonna have to do some research on those, but they're pretty interesting. Very 50s looking to me. There's a, what's that? Oh, that's old Buddy L right there. And looks like a couple more of these rubber ones in there. A couple of old tins. So definitely intrigued by these. I'm gonna have to look these things up. All right, so here's pretty much the end of this, and then there's some um, some plushes I'll go through really quick, but we got some of these old-school coloring books, Mickey and uh, Donald Duck. These are huge compared to regular coloring books. And they are from 19... looks like 
that's is 37, but that's probably not the date of the, the book. But uh, we have some old coloring books there, unused. And then we have a bunch here that are kind of a hit or miss of whether or not they're, they're used. There's a couple pages here and there colored. So I just thought those were cool, pretty cool to grab those up, keep them from going in the trash dump. We have a couple lunch boxes. Nice work. You're welcome. Thank you. How the West was one. I don't think this one had a thermos, but it does have a really cool creature from the Black Lagoon uh, puffy sticker in there. I might need to take that out and reuse that. That's cool. And my favorite of the lunch boxes is this Gremlins one, and this one does have a, a thermos inside of here. So you got old stripe on here and gizmo. Whoops, sorry, I keep hitting the dang tripod, guys. So this is pretty cool. This is a really neat um, tin toy here. It's Toy Town. Again, I'm not super familiar with these. The gentleman who I bought this from said he has the door somewhere, he thinks, and if he finds them, he's going to pass those on to me. And then we have this old um, Mark's tank. So this is pretty cool because the little doughboy pops up when you wind it up. And uh, let's see. I'm not going to wind it too much because I'm going to be putting it away here in a second. But... There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. I'll get you. I'm going to get you guys. Why don't you use the cannon? Oh, good idea. Let's use the big cannon. So we found a couple of these keys. This one fit. I don't know if this is the one that went to it, but this is actually probably in the nicest shape out of all of these. And this is a Mark's Toys um, vehicle. And that's really cool. So I'm going to let that thing kick out. Don't drive away. And then we have this other ride-on train here. This thing is, uh, you turn this and it turns the... The wheels are you push it up and down yeah as you turn it it turns the wheels so that there is hold on i gotta do something about this tripod guys i'm sorry uh keystone special so i'm not sure what brand that is i'm gonna have to look that up and try to figure it out but that's pretty neat and it's pretty big compared to the other ones i mean that's a good two feet long um but that's pretty neat i guess as a child you would ride on that thing i don't know if it looks sturdy enough to put my kid on it but there you have it so let me get this stuff stowed and then i will go through this last little batch all right all right, guys, it's sprinkling a little bit out, so I'm not going to bring these plush out, but I'll show them to you uh, as best I can. So these are some old Buick. I don't know if these are from some kind of um, promotion event or something. There's two of these uh, from Buick 1984 Olympics of some sort, and there's two plush. You got a female and a male in there. Those are pretty cool. No clue what they're about, but... And then we have this giant tote full of stuffed animals, and there's another one in the front seat. So some of these things are super old, like this thing. Um, most of them, like you got Casper here. You got some that are um, actual characters. But most of them are just kind of generic um, stuffed animals, which I don't really deal with a lot of stuffed animals. But again, it was uh, you know, part of what they had, so I figured I'd pick it up. And I can do some research on this stuff. Some of it's older, some of it's... Uh, looks like it's all probably from the 70s or, or that era. I'm going to go through the rest of those plush at a different time just because it's starting to get a little uh, rainy out here and I got to roll but hopefully you enjoyed those tin toys if you know anything about them um, let me know in the comments give me some pointers on what to look for and whatnot um, and we'll go from there until next time okay I'm, I'm not good at computer stuff so clearly I'm a uh, yeah okay finito